We call it the three-word game you can, when forced to, describe every game in just three words. Here we go. Thursday, Dallas at Tampa Bay. My fair Brady. This is what he does. Bucks trailed by one. Minute 24 left. Eight plays, 57 yards in a minute. 380 yards on the night. Four TDs, no picks. 44 years old and ageless. And the best pre-snap quarterback in the NFL now that Peyton Manning's retired. Jacksonville at Houston. This isn't college. Urban Meyer was 17-0 in openers as a college coach. Trevor Lawrence won his high school debut 38-0. His college debut at Clemson 31-0. Urban called it inexcusable. Chargers at the Washington football team. He's Justin Credible. Here's Justin Herbert's numbers on third down against an elite defense. 14 of 17, 127 passer rating, 13 first downs. If you did not watch this game, he was incredible on the toughest down in football. Third, and I've got to throw it. Seattle at the Colts. No fuss, Russ. Three of his four touchdowns came under pressure. 152 passer rating. What really was impressive beyond Russ was how the Seahawks' young defensive line overwhelmed the Colts' excellent offensive line. Keep your eye on that. Jets at Carolina. Sam's new rule, as in Matt rule. Darnold, 102 passer rating. Did not have a passer rating over 100 last year. Rush for a TD. Interesting. His five longest completions of his career have all gone to Robbie Anderson. Four with the Jets and one in Carolina. Vikings at the Bengals, earning his stripes. Joe Burrow, 20 at 27, even though he was sacked five times. I said it last year. This kid can get hit. He is tougher than a cheap stake. 129 passer rating under duress again. And by the way, Jamar Chase has caught a touchdown in seven of the last eight games he's played with Joe Burrow. Arizona at Tennessee. Kai, oh my. Perfect passer rating against the Blitz. Think about that. Against the Blitz, he had a perfect passer rating. Four touchdown passes. Now, new defensive coordinator for the Titans, but they don't engineer a consistent pass rush, and that's a problem. Yeah, San Francisco at Detroit, almost goffle collapse. 49ers led 41-17, two minutes left. Two minutes left. The Lions literally had two touchdowns, converted both two-point conversions, recovered an onside kick, forced a fumble, Debo Samuel, in two minutes, and almost tied it late. Pittsburgh at Buffalo, High wattage defense. T.J. Watt, five quarterback hits, a forced fumble, two sacks. I think he's the most impossible guy to block in the league. There is that guy. There are no easy snaps. I, I and I'm talking Chase Young. He is unblockable. And by the way, the Steelers overcame a 10 point deficit and had three first downs in their first six drives. They got one way to win. They, they're they're going to dominate teams with mediocre offensive lines, but man, the Steelers' offense is not pretty. Philadelphia at Arizona. Sirianni looks serious? Listen, Matt Ryan was held to 136 passing yards, and he's got a good old line. The Eagles outgained Atlanta by 174 yards. That's more than any team outgained any other team. Road game? Jalen Hurts' biggest start? I'll be honest, it was something. Cleveland at Kansas City. Can't meet Mahomet. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The Browns had the ball midfield, minute 16 left. Chance to take the lead. Baker couldn't do it. Hey, happens. Chiefs have won nine of their last 11 games when trailing. Green Bay at New Orleans. Jeopardy still available. 
Aaron Rodgers would have had a higher passer rating had he spiked the ball on every play. I am not making that up. The Green Bay Packers, three points. Lowest scoring team in the entire league. That's with Aaron, Devontae, and Aaron Jones. Denver at the Giants. Giant question marks. The Giants offensive line, folks, is awful. 11 of the 34 dropbacks that when the Broncos rushed four or fewer, they created pressure. Miami at New England. Tua taking steps. I mean, he's 8-3 and three as a starter. I got to give him credit. 11 games, he's won eight. That ain't pretty. Chicago at the Rams. Roll out the welcome mat. Matt Stafford. All of his starts in his career. His highest passer rating, 156. Say that. He's got some nice weapons. Cooper Cup, Robert Woods. They got weapons. He's got a very good offensive line and a clever coach. And tonight, Baltimore at Vegas. Now hiring running backs. Ravens lost three in the preseason. Now, the good news is they had six six different running backs lead them in rushing last year. So they're not overly dependent on a Gus Edwards, a Justice Hill, or a J.K. Dobbins. They're not dependent. I mean, they're, they they come at you with a lot of different people. They picked up Levante Murray. Davius Murray, yeah. Uh, le, yeah, my bad. And they signed Le'Veon Bell to the Okay, so that it's, it's, they're throwing stuff out there, but they're not generally reliant outside of Lamar on one back. They let Mark Ingram go, and they still ran the ball effectively. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.